All right. Well, hello. We're going to start upright today in our movement. So depending on right if it's morning for those of us live, but later in the day for you, kind of ease your way in, right? We're going to do a nice flowing warm up today. So if you already are kind of right high energy, use this as a way of kind of coming down or as a way of building up, right? So we're going to meet in the middle with energy levels. So I want you to take your legs to a pretty wide stance and then stretch your toes out and then step them lightly down onto the floor. And we're gonna start with just taking our arms up, and now we're gonna inhale and bend our knees, look down at the floor, cross those hands as we inhale. And as we exhale, we'll widen the arms, lift the chest and come all the way. Inhale, come down. So as you inhale, fill into your back. Exhale, shoot all that air out, radiating it from your chest up to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And this time, exhale, but shoot your body off to one side. Inhale back to that center point. Breathe into your back. Exhale, shoot that energy off to one side. And one more each way. Inhale. Now shoot it off to the side, but at a different angle. Find another area to shoot your energy into. And back to center. Exhale, other direction, and find another angle. Shoot that energy off. And then back to center, bring your hands to your thighs. So from here, we're just gonna round the spine, focusing on the tailbone tucking. And then tip your tail to the sky and let your chest radiate forward. So we get our little cat cow. Tuck the tail and round. Tip the tail to the sky, reach the chest forward. And tip the tail and round. Tail tips up, chest reaches forward. One more time, tip that tail. So think of it as stretching out the lower back and then bring that spine all the way back to the top. Let's take one shoulder blade, lift it up. Draw it back and set it down. Take the other one up, draw it back, set it down. So alternating up, back, set it down. I remember when we've done this together recently, how we really start focusing on that flat bone, the scapula, moving around the rib cage, right? It's so different than thinking shoulder joint. So think about what's happening on your backside. We're priming that area for all of the postural work we're gonna do today. So you never wanna go into that postural work and have those shoulder blades glued on your rib cage. Not having mobility there is not going to positively influence our posture. Now could we just take both shoulder blades and draw them back to each other? And then think of separating them. And if I exaggerate, it could look like this. But then you all can see like, oh, well, that's maybe moving her spine also. So then can I not move my spine and just think about moving shoulder blades and arms? So I imagine that I'm going to say my five, five and a quarter and not change that. I'm just asking my shoulder blades to glide around. And it's pretty tricky, I think, especially on the forward and then coming to center. Good, so upper body, right? So let's keep going for the neck. Oh boy. <laughs> we were all allowed together on my front lawn. We'd all start going, oh my goodness. I just hear so many things. There's so many cracks and crunchy sounds. Yep, there is. We're all in the same boat. And the other way,
So needed, so needed. And then come to center. Let your arms feel heavy. Let your body just stand. And I want you to start swaying forward and back. And just on that slightest level, now I feel comfortable doing it with my eyes closed. You can keep your eyes open if you prefer. But on that slightest level, can you just feel how it shifts that different muscles kick in so that you don't fall down, right? When I shift forward, I tend to feel my thighs, my abs. When I shift back, good, ride the line. When I shift back, right, I feel my back muscles kick in, backs of my legs. Now, can we do that on a small scale in a circular pattern? So now you're, you know, you're going to feel things come up the sides of the body. And as always, we notice how sides are different. So let's go the other way, see if it shows up any differently. Like I've shared with you, it's always my left side that's lagging a little bit. So on that first go, I can feel my right side a lot. And now I feel like I'm just starting to feel my left side participate in the same way. Not uncommon. And then come to center. Now take your hands, placing them here, my fingertips, are sitting on the muscles that run up and down either side of your spine that feel really good to get massage. So I want to feel that musculature right there. My spine would be in the middle and then I can just out a little bit. Now what we're going to do is just shift our weight lifting one foot off the ground. And as you're doing that, I want you to feel what you feel under your fingertips. So the musculature you're touching goes all the way from the lowest part at your pelvis all the way up to the base of the skull. And those muscles being very aware, active, functional, keep your spine less compressed. So we're gonna work on them today and work on that upper back and posture today. Now some of you might go, well, that's weird. When I stand on one foot, it's the opposite that kicks in, okay. Some of you might go, well, that's weird. I stand on one foot and I feel it and the other foot is dormant. Not uncommon. <laughs> that's why we're doing it and keeping the fingers there is that good tactile cue to talk to those muscles again. And then just come to center. Drop your hands by your sides. Close your eyes for a moment. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Right. So I'm going to turn sideways. You can stay forward. I'm just going to place my right foot in front of my left. So as long as you slightly see my setup here, okay? And so we're gonna go for that rocking forward and back. So we're again, like, going to, again, feel everything up the spine, kicking in as we're adjusting that weight. Start adding those arms. So when I rock forward, good. Rock forward, last two. And then you're gonna pause, hold it. Wow, standing on this hard floor is much easier than we did this similar in the grass on Saturday. Now touch the knee, reach away. Touch the knee, reach away. Touch the leg, reach away. Woo, one more, touch the knee, reach away. Go back to the rock. Now, can you please start focusing on your butt? So as I rock, I use my butt muscle, lift that back leg, and lift that back leg, and lift. And now when we lift our back left leg, we're gonna look to the right. So I lift my arm, look over the shoulder. Lift my arm, look over the shoulder. Lift, lift. If you gotta take something out of the equation, make it the head turn. Lift, last two, lift. Last one, can you hold? Bring those eyes forward again. 
knee touch and reach. Touch and reach. Touch and reach. Two more. Touch and reach. Touch. Stay here. Three, two, one. Lengthen up. Reach through those fingers. Me, me, me. Pick me. Pick me. And bring that arm down. All right, we're gonna go left leg in front and start your rock and rock and rock. Add in those arms when you're ready. See how I just add each piece so you can eliminate as needed and reach. So right here, I'm just kind of feeling again that weight shifting against gravity. I'm feeling all the muscles most deep in my body showing up to keep me making these shapes, working against and with gravity. We're gonna hold after this next one. So find it. Ah. Touch the knee and reach. Touch the knee and reach. Touch the knee and reach. Two more, touch and reach. Touch and reach. We'll go back to Rocky. Make sure I'm not going to kick anything. Use your glute, pick that leg up. So we're just putting, again, that little bit more emphasis on butt muscle and butt muscle. Oh boy, we are just priming that back side, folks. Got big plans back there. Two more. Lift that bun, hold it, hold, hold. Go back into your rock. Now as we lift, we're gonna look. And look. And look. And look. I'm realizing you guys are doing major shadow puppets of mine today. <laughs> it's not so sunny in through my front window here today. Last two. Eliminate the head turn, of course, if needed. Now we're gonna hold it. If your head is turned, bring it back center. Knee tap, reach, glute. Get that glute, squeeze it, squeeze it. Reach and lift, reach and lift. Last one, keep your hand on your knee. And then bring that arm up, set that leg down. Wee, 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 reach, reach, pick me, pick me. I'm back here in the back row, pick me. And softly let that arm come down. All right, does everyone feel nice and ready and warmed up? Okay, so I want you to think about if you took a, a long piece of hard taffy, you wouldn't take that and be like, no, let's work out, <laughs> right? It's like the body is just the same. It wants to be warmed up, loved, get nice and right, malleable then we can make work of it and make progress. If you're like me at that moment, it's very easy. If you were teaching me for me to get antsy and be like, let's get on with it. Come on, where's the workout? But you have to realize that's what keeps you safe is to prime everything. You owe that to your body. If you're gonna ask your body to work hard and make changes, you need to prime it. That is like making a responsible choice for your long-term well-being. Okay, feel, high five, feel. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is take our initial postural work in the standing position, then the same pattern will transition to the floor. It's nice then because you visually know what's gonna happen instead of when your face is down, you know, sometimes it's hard to know. So here we go. Stay standing. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. You may stand however you would like. All right, arms are gonna reach out to the sides of the room. Now right here, I'm gonna think of drawing in the abdomen. So I want to be really mindful that I'm not falling into this pattern in my body. If you know you happen to fall into Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, then you're going to have to think the opposite of me. You're going to have to think of getting your tail back a little bit. You know who you are, I believe, as I see you adjusting. So let's find our happy spot in the center for all of us. Now from this position, softening the knees, we're going to hinge. And the feeling to me is like I'm laying myself on a table from my hips to my forehead. So literally, if I can lay myself right down on my dining table, okay? 
So now in this position, I want you to stretch your right arm back and your left arm forward. So I guess it could be like we're just doing a big dusting of the table. So switch, left arm goes back to the hip, right arm reaches overhead, and switch, and switch. So if you can already imagine this on the floor, right? It, it's challenging because if we can't lift our arms level to the make-believe table, well, no problem, it's not actually there. But the floor has no gift. So this is the perfect step one, then we'll go floor step two. And one more, take both arms overhead. Now it's like the breaststroke. They both go to the sides, they bend, we reach overhead. Out to the sides, they bend, reach overhead. Keep drawing your abdomen in. You're not trying to just let your tummy rest on the table. Pick it up. We've got two to go. Oh my goodness, it's already work, isn't it? Last one, reach overhead, stay there, stay there. Reach back out to your sides. Now lift your arms up, up, up. Now it's like you're hitting the table. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Four, three, two. Do you feel how this is shoulder blades, folks? Pull them together, lifting your arms off the table, and then stand all the way up. Woo, thumbs up for you that are here now that can see. Oh, that's gonna go on the floor, right? Like you can feel the effectiveness right there. So now we're gonna get onto the floor and I want you to keep in mind how that's gonna also now signal glutes, right? Okay, so let's get there together. Down we go. All right, here we go. So again, nice to know what those patterns are before you're down. Okay, so lowering the forehead to your mat. And we're going to go ahead and lengthen those arms out. So for a moment, just imagine how we forward folded onto our table. Okay, so a little easier on the hamstrings there. Okay, so here we go. We're first going to start with one arm overhead and the other arm to the hip. And then they switch. And I also rotate my palms. So the hand that goes to my hip, the palm is up. And then that palm is down. So find that little rotation. Now could you just lift your forehead off the mat one half of an inch and keep going. Woo! Okay, now you should have felt those elongated postural muscles kick in. Because now from the skull all the way down to the buttons, those long muscles we had our fingertips on, the multipedi, they have kicked in. One more each way, and then we're gonna go into breaststroke. Arms reach overhead and out to the sides. Arm reach up overhead, down to the sides. You can always lower your forehead. So if you start just getting super tired and overcompensating, just take the forehead down. Two more. Last one, out to the sides, lower the forehead. Rest your arms on the floor. Pick them up on the floor. Pick them up, put them on the floor. Now pick them up and your right leg as well. And down, pick them up, left leg. And down, up, right leg. And down, up, left leg. And down, can you please make sure you're thinking about your shoulder blades? One more, each side, and then lift the arms and the legs and the forehead. Arms and legs come down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, three, two, and one. <sighs> Bring those hands in, and very gently glide your way back to a child's pose. So I hope all of you really took into consideration how it felt and lowered your head when needed. All right, walk your way back out onto your tummy. I'm gonna stay at my forearms here. And my chest is reaching forward. So I wanna again be really mindful that I'm not sinking down into my shoulders, but rather pressing 
and trying to really radiate my heart light forward. I'm gonna bend my right knee and I'm gonna look over my left shoulder trying to get a little sneak peek of my toe and then lower down. Bend my left knee, sneak peek over my right shoulder and down. My goal is to keep my heel in line with my tush. And that is different than letting your foot come across the midline like I'm doing now to try to speed it. Keep it over there. And look, so we'll speed it up. If speeding it up gets you all discombobulated, by all means, just take it slower. Four. Three, two, and one. Walk your way out, arms in front. All right. We're going to add those arms going side to side with the legs. So for slow starters, right hand is down by the hip. Left leg is then the one bent. And I'm going to lift up, and I'm going to think of reaching this hand towards that left foot. Then my arms switch, my head can lower for a moment, and up I come. Down and switch. So it's my opposite hand to opposite foot in the back side. And switch. And switch. And switch. And switch. Two more. And switch. And switch. And lower yourself down. Woo! Just rock your pelvis side to side. Act like you're just trying to squish a blueberry. You know how we do a lot of that shaking and jostling? Look at this as a way of shaking and jostling your pelvis, your boobs. Just smoosh the blueberry underneath there. And then just bring in your hands, arms stacked, forehead on the hands. With the legs nice and straight, we're gonna elevate our right leg. Oh, and I'm doing my best. So I want to keep my legs straight and try to lighten my thigh load. I know it's hard. I have a dark mat and dark pants, but I think there's a little bit of space there. And then down we come. And then lifting the left leg, down we come. So my goal is to keep the other leg light on the mat, right? I don't want to jam it into the mat trying to help me out. I want my butt to do the work to lift my leg. Lift the leg. That's your butt muscle. It's your back muscles. Last three. Two. One more. Second one if you need it to even out. Then both legs come up. Both legs come up. So yes, I feel my pelvis really press into the mat, but I'm still trying to keep my deep core muscles Shrink wrapping me. Last three. Two. Keep them lifted, please. Now bend the knees, crossing at your ankles. Straighten your legs again. Bend your knees, crossing at your ankles. Bend your knees again. Good. So bend and cross, straighten now. Bend and cross, straighten now. Bend and cross, straighten now. Three, two, and one. Lower the legs. Excellent. Walk your hands back. I have to tell you, oh, someone on your live has dark socks on. And when I looked over, I was like, oh, I think they're modifying just putting the weights in their hands and doing the same thing because maybe their glutes or something is bothering them. And I took my mind, my eyes a minute to adjust them. That's weird. You're like, Oh no, it's just their dark socks. That's not hand weights. It was, some of you are like, you're like two inches by two inches in my screen. <laughs> so sometimes it takes me a second to adjust to what I thought was a modification, but today it is not. That was funny. All right, come on to your hands and knees for me. And we're gonna simply pick up one hand and the opposite knee and shift. Whoa, <laughs> shift. That's what I get for saying simply. <laughs> shift. Shift, shift. So start becoming aware here again. Whew. Of if we have the tray of lemonade underneath us, so can we lift the opposites 
and not do so much shifting so that we don't spill the lemonade. Go ahead. and then come to center. Very good. Okay. Tuck your toes under. And what I want you to do is take a big breath in, getting your spine a little taller. And on your exhale, draw up your navel, because that's what we're going to feel gravity pulling on. And then lift our knees to the little hover. Setting them down. Big inhale. Exhale, draw them up. And the knees come as well. Keep breathing all of that air out. And set them down. One more time. Take a big breath in. Exhale, navel up. Knees up. Now we're going to rock back and forth. This could be knees up the whole time. It truly could be knees down the whole time. So some of you have had different surgeries on feet. Onions, right? Various things. Well, you may not want to have your knees off because that might be too much weight on those joints. Well, that's not a problem. Don't work your feet. Only put as much resistance as you need. So if you can keep your knees off, go for it. If not, don't sweat it. Four, three, two, and one. Everyone sets their knees down. Wonderful. Okay, take a quick glance at the knees so that you see that they're um, fist width apart. Okay, now let's just take a look. I can identify real fast in my body what I'm doing. Do you see how my body loves to use my lower body more than my upper? Do you see the angle of me? <laughs> my body is trying to get away from working the upper body. It's like I'm more happy here, right? I feel stronger here. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to get up here because my goal is to challenge my whole body. So I want to feel where my upper is taking on also the weight. I'm going to extend my right leg behind me. Lots of glutes here again, folks. All right, that leg's going to go up and down. Then it's going to go up and then down and it crosses behind you. Back up. Straight down and up. Cross it behind you, then up, down, up, cross, and lift. Down, up, cross, and lift. Again, I'm trying to keep my upper body over my hands to really challenge my upper and my lower. Keep that leg lifted. Now softly bend your elbows. Woo, you should feel like you're just doing a little mock push up, a little baby one. And now take the leg down, up, cross, lift. Down, up, cross, lift. You are going to feel more pressure in your right hand because you have that leg off. Three, touch, lift. Two, touch, lift. Three, lift, touch, lift. Straighten your arms and set that knee fist width apart from the other. Come off of your hands. You can even tip them gently the other way. I think you probably really do notice how that right side is having to do a lot more work. And back out we come. <clears throat> this with the part with the knees and then whoop, stop looking. Left leg is going to go behind you. Up and down. Let's just feel where that's at. And <laughs> I can feel my body wanting to shift a bit more on this side. All right, go up to the center. Now cross over. Lift up. Back down. Up. Cross over, up, back down. Again, seeing where you're at. Do I have my weight in my upper body? Can I feel how much I've got to work that left side to stay center? Up, over, up, down. One more. Up, over, up, down. Now softly bend. Little tricep push up. I'm shaking. Up, cross, up. Down, and I'm definitely shaking more on my left. <laughs> Good, up, cross, up, down. We're doing three more total. Tap across, up, up, tap across, up. Final one, up, tap across, up, and straighten your arms, 
draw your knee underneath you and slide right back off. So we're just gonna go into a little bit of wrist work after that. Let me get on my knees here. And we're gonna just go through moving those wrists. Just keep twirling. I'm gonna bring the camera up a little bit, knowing where we're headed. Um, All right, then I want you to show me your forearms. So I'm putting, instead of having my hands like so, I'm turning them. And then I'm gonna do a little side to side. Ooh. If you are pretty dominant with one hand, you're gonna feel how much tighter it is. Okay, we're gonna go off those hands, take them the other way again. Now I'm looking at the inside of the elbows. And I want the inside of my elbows to face one another, then face all of you. But notice my hands stay. So I'm just pivoting the bones of my forearm. They rotate with one another. And again, you typically do notice your dominant hand is a little, it's a little stiffer. They don't move quite as well. But that doesn't mean we're gonna just ignore them, right? They need this more than the other side. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And some of you will actually be like, well, I can do it really well with my elbows towards you. It's hard to keep the elbow facing each other, right? If you tend to hyperextend at your elbows, it'll feel a little different to you. Awesome. All right. Just come up off those hands, however you need to sit, stand, and it's a very gentle shake. Very gentle. You're just letting that energy come out the fingers, those wrists. Then you'll feel it's like, okay, now I can be a little more vigorous, right? So now a more vigorous shake. Really shake them out. Let all those joints feel super loosey-goosey, whatever direction you want to go. They're so happy doing this, just so you know. They're like, thank you. We work for so much stability. Let us be loose and light. And then let your arms just stay. Ooh, that's quite a buzz there. Lots of energy in those fingertips. Now, you're gonna come up onto high knee. So it's gonna be like so. And then what I would love for you to do is take, let's say your left leg, out to the side. Oh, look at that, we all match now. All right, so arms are out. And in this position, we're gonna let the same side arm drop to the leg, and we're gonna reach the other arm up to the sky as we look at our palm, creating that nice back bending feel. And then up I'm gonna come, this arm holds the baby, the other one becomes the ballerina. And can you try to keep your arch on the mat and your knee facing forward? Up we come, we're gonna switch. Reach your neck. And up we come, one more time, the other way. Little version of the mermaid. And then we'll come back to center. Now I'm gonna to reach to the far side away from my toes, but I only wanna lean as much as necessary. Now the leg comes up and down. And some of you did this on my lawn on Saturday, the same exact pattern. And it is downright tricky <laughs> with the unstable surface, but I'm gonna tell you I've got flames coming out of my Hip right now, without the extra help of the lawn. Four, three, two. Can you try to keep it lifted? Oh, 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 oh. It's a balancing act, it's a balancing act. And then bend it, set it down. Shake out those arms while we're at it. 
<laughs> so extend that left leg out. Sorry, it's your right leg, my left. All right, so we're gonna go into our side bending pattern again. I think this feels fantastic. Arm goes down, looking at the hands. And then up we come, switch sides. <laughs> ah, goes my head. Up and over. Keep looking, keep looking, keep those eyes out there. And then back over. And then we come to center. I'm gonna lean as needed, but notice my lean doesn't take me down here. I should have said the word reach. So reach as far out as you need to. And now I'm lifting, lifting, lifting. Whoo! Abs are in, glutes are on fire. <laughs> There's no way to cheat this one. That's why you feel it so quickly. You are really isolating what I'm asking you to. Because you don't have a lot of options. Four, three, two, can you try to keep it lifted? Let's all try. Oh, 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 just a constant balancing act. And then bend and come on both. <laughs> all right, so from here, we're just gonna rock side to side. So I am, I know it's hard to see, but I'm picking up my foot as well. So I'm trying to get my whole leg off. Whole leg off, whole leg off, whole leg off. Just keep in mind, you could always double up your mat here. Right, so I don't want this to be a knee issue for you. Okay. Last two. Last one. Here we are. I just want you to step forward. Tuck your back toes under. And let's just take our hands to our pelvis minute because I don't want you distracted by your shoulders. And I want you just to think of scooping and tucking your tail like a puppy that got in trouble tuck your tail under and you should feel a really nice stretch in this back thigh that same side hand can go up and you can add just a slight up and over feeling keep the tail tucking though your body will want to push your tailbone back behind you to avoid the slight <laughs> so feel that reach Here's where your mind can kind of think of me, 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 pick me, right? You're looking for length. You're not just assuming the position. Keep rejuvenating that lengthening feel. And then letting that arm come down. Now you're gonna step back real carefully. Please make adjustments for knees as needed. Step the other foot forward. Back toes, tuck under. Now there, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm there, but tuck the tail. Oh, there's the stretch. Then that same side arm could come up. And you and your mind are gonna play your me, me, me. Constantly reaching, getting those fingers up higher and higher to the sky. I think we're gonna feel this in the day to come. Postural work is sneaky. It does feel hard at the time, but it's one of those that does kind of linger with you the day after. Arm will come down, on both knees we come. Now over it's best to you, just set your hands to one side and then get your knees over to the other side. So I want to get us working up now towards the waist, because of course we got to work on abs, right? So moving into abs. So arms are out if needed, or that slight bend to the side, okay? So from this position, my goal is to switch my legs. Ooh, and notice here I'm gonna get really tall again. And then I'm gonna switch my legs, and then watch, I'm gonna get really tall again. I'm even doing a little push with this finger. And then switch. And please, if you normally don't use your hands, and you're like, well, why in the world do I need to use them today? Sometimes just the fabric you're wearing makes the difference on the mat you're on. So if you use your hands a little bit, don't look at that as a, oh, I'm not doing as well today. And then like I said, I'm using my hand right here to, ooh, find that little bit of stretch at the top. It feels awesome. Taller, oh. It's taller. 
taller. Get taller. Okay, we'll stop on this side and get nice and tall. Awesome. Arms are out. This one's really deceiving. <laughs> You're gonna reach. So we've been practicing that reach out and come back. Reach out and come back. Now I want to keep this leg glued to my mat, which is not so easy, right? Because I feel like at some point if I go over, my leg's gonna lift. So keep finding that reaching the rib over. Reaching the rib over. Now we're gonna reach it over and I'm gonna rotate away from that back foot. Holding on, three, two, one. Place the hands down, walk them out, keep your chest high, and lengthen that back leg. It's off the floor, keep it up there. Keep it up there, then bend it, place it down, walk the hands back until you can release and then back to center and come up. Switch sides. So you can feel how we're creeping. We're going from hips to waist, like we're moving on up. Okay, oh, right away. Oh, oh, it's harder, this hip's tighter. Over we go, keep it glued, little reach, little reach. I'm imagining my rib cage is stretching over there and coming back, stretching over there and coming back. Three, two, reach, reach, reach. Can you rotate? <laughs> Placing the hands down, walk them out, extend that leg, keep it lifted, keep it lifted. And then bend the knee, stand and glue the leg down. Walk back to where you can lift both hands off. Oh my goodness, it's so much harder on this side. And rotate to center and back up. Woo! Legs out in front. I'm curious to know if you guys felt that large discrepancy side to side as I did. I referenced that left side earlier in class. It, it definitely has its own, uh, has a different agenda than my right foot. A little movement here for those where those hip flexors were getting a little bit gritty. Awesome, wherever you're at on your mat, get yourself turned, and we're gonna head all the way down. Okay, dokily. Hands are gonna go behind your head. <sighs> we're gonna float that chest up, and then take it down, and float it up. I want you to almost pretend this is the first time you've ever done a mini sit-up. And you're really thinking, okay, so my chest is lifting. I'm not really curling so much as just trying to float my shoulder blades off the mat and float the shoulder blades off the mat. Staying up there into your little baby float. You're gonna take your feet together, widen the knees. I'm staying in my float. I look very much like a butterfly right now with my elbows and my knees. And I'm gonna pick my feet up and put them down. Pick them up, put them down. And I've gotta stabilize through my core muscles. I don't want my low back lifting and lowering. I'm gonna pick a position for it, even if that's in breath, and I'm staying. Three, two, pick those feet up, closing the knees, coming to a tabletop like position but the legs are squeezing together. Now you're gonna let your knees drop to one side as you let your chest and eyes go the opposite. Try not to fall over and bring everything back to the middle. Knees drop the other way, eyes and chest opposite. Wow, there's that left side of mine. And then coming back to center. Knees go one way, eyes and chest go the opposite. Back to center. One more, opposite, back to center. Take one foot down and then the other and lower out of the sit-up. So here's how we're gonna level it up. Hands go out to the sides, but I would take them where they're wide because we wanna, they're gonna be a little helpful. But we're gonna karate chop the floor with them. And then we're gonna go tabletop legs 
And again, bring them together to the best of your ability. But you should feel your inner thighs activate to help you. Now, legs are going to go to one side, hands stay on the floor, my eyes go the other way. And now I'm going to try to glue my legs together and use my waist as much as possible in my hand and arm as little as possible. Opposite way. Bring them up. Opposite. Big stretch here. Then exhale. Legs together. Abs, 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 abs. Bring me to the center. Inhale, stretch open. Exhale, gathering up that center. Inhale, stretch open. Exhale, gathering up at the center. One more. Inhale, stretching open. Exhale, coming to center. Drop one foot down and then the other. Both hands will come behind your head. Float your chest up. Right leg to tabletop. And then left leg comes straight out to hover. Exhale, switch. I want you today to think of reaching. You're using your big toe. I'm going to touch my bookcase. Touch my bookcase. Touch my bookcase. Reach. 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 Four. Three. Two. One, keep your right leg in tabletop and your left leg reaching. Now reach your left arm overhead. You're going to roll to your left side. And you're going to roll back, placing both hands behind your head. Switch legs. My right leg is long. My right arm is long. And I'm going to roll onto my right side. And then I'm going to roll back, staying in my float. Switch. Roll, center, switch, roll, ah, center, switch, roll, center, switch, roll, center. One more each way. Switch, roll, center, switch, roll. Center, center with the tabletop, bring them down and lower out. Oh my goodness. Whew, I bet we made that look easy. It's not easy at all. Maintaining that shape is rough. Can you reach both legs out on the floor? Reach both arms out overhead. Big breath and then exhale, release. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Ah, bring those hands up towards the sky and then just open them out to your sides, letting your palms face the sky. Giving those legs a nice little shake and then letting the legs ah, come to a resting place that is most comfortable for you. So as we go into breathing work, <sighs> we're going to do it in counts of five today. So as we inhale, we're going to inflate by fifths. And then at the top, we hold, and then we let the air out over a count of five. And I say that because I don't want you to do one blast of a breath and then be holding it for the other four counts. So we'll begin with our inhale, and you're going to draw the breath in. One, two, three, four, five. Pause, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, pause. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it a little slower. On this next inhale, here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Now just come to a breath that feels natural to you. Check in with all the spots of your body that are connected to the earth, the back of the heels, calves, Maybe the backs of the legs, your buns, your back, backs of the arms, and the back of the head. Now think of the space behind the ears just being soft, like it's dripping down to the earth. And then soften the eyes and the eye socket, almost like your eyes themselves, the ball of the eye could just sinking deeper into the socket and relax the jaw. And when you're ready, you can roll yourself to your side. Take a moment and set your intention for the day. Take a moment and Send out a prayer to someone that's on your mind. Taking that moment to pause. And when you're ready, you can come up. I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. I'll see you soon.